Uganda News Updates. Earlier today in an interview with the BBC News Network, President Yoweri Kaguta Museven was asked to give a reason why Bobby Wine's shows and concerts are always cancelled. He answered as follows. Bobby Wine is an enemy to our country ever since he went to foreigners and requested them not to come and invest in Uganda. He blocked all foreigners from giving us money to construct roads and other infrastructures. He is economically waging war to our country. He is waging war to our prosperity. That's why we cannot let him enjoy from the little that we have as a country. Let the foreigners invest in him if he wants money. After saying this on BBC, Bobby Wine replied to President Yoweri Kagutam 7 through his Facebook page as follows. What has since happened to President Museven was aptly captured by late Honorable Elia Kategaya in his book entitled Impassioned for Freedom. Condemning Mr. Museveni's third term bid, Kategaya wrote, I have observed that the longer one stays in power, the more one is insulated from reality. The trappings of state apparatus tend to make one live an unrealistic existence. Sadly, President Museveni has been living this unrealistic existence for a long time now. For starters, he removed all doubt about who has been blocking our music concerts. Ridiculously, he says that I cannot stage concerts because I discredited his government to foreign investors. So you can see, the same police which separately wanted us to believe their stories about late comrade Ziggy Wine is exposed once again. They have been saying that our shows are stopped because we didn't have enough ambulances, a traffic management plan, and that all of a sudden our venue had become too small to host our fans. Now President Museven busts his own shadow by exposing their lies. Shamelessly, Mr. Museven also told BBC News that I am an enemy to Uganda's progress. You can imagine the lack of shame. In case he has forgotten, let us remind him who and what the real enemy of Uganda's progress is. The real enemy of Uganda's progress is a 34-year-old dictatorship which has nothing left to offer to Uganda. The real enemy to the Uganda's progress are the sickening levels of corruption for which President Museven is a chief priest. The real enemy to Uganda's progress is the breakdown of democratic values characterized by rigging elections, violations of civil rights and liberties, and a blatant disregard of the law. The real enemy of Uganda's progress is a failed education system where millions of our nation's children do not finish primary school where children study under trees and those who are lucky to finish school have no skills whatsoever. The real enemy to Uganda's progress is a sick healthy care system where the few health facilities are understaffed and ill equipped, where health workers are poorly paid and the few drugs sold on the black market, where the casualty ward at Mulago Hospital is itself a casualty of victims of accidents Accidents, sleeping in their blood on the cold floor. The real enemy of Uganda's progress are the rampant land evictions where poor Ugandans are thrown off the only thing left in their possession by the powerful and mighty. The real enemy to Uganda's progress are the murderers of our people at the hands of the state, Kasese being only an example. The real enemy to Uganda's progress is the nepotism and sectarianism practiced in the public service and championed by President Museven himself, where merit no longer counts and a small clique controls every aspect of the state. The real enemy to Uganda's progress is the breakdown of state institutions and erosion of their independency, where a president controls the judiciary, parliament, police, IGG, etc. 
The real enemy of Uganda's progress is the ex excessive wastage of public resources where President Museveni and his cronies bulge in abundance at the expense of an overtaxed poor Ugandan. The real enemy of Uganda's progress is the illegal high-handed grabbing of Uganda's public assets and resources. You can add on and add on and add on. The enemy to the Uganda's progress is not me and other Ugandans who are fighting to free our nation from oppression, suppression, and exploitation. Those were Bobby Wine's words to President Yowe Kagutam 7 responding him based on the interview that he had with BBC News Africa.